Masaya ako nandito kayo lahat with us this afternoon. Um, of course, you know, you've known mother and mother and touched so many times. That's why we're here together. And I prepared a small speech for everyone. I'm not really good at this. Bear with me. Okay. First of all, I'm very delighted to see everyone here, friends from Showbiz. Of course, the media people, the artists who supported us in so many years. Um, on behalf of Regal Entertainment Inc., my siblings, represented by my brother, Donovan, Sir, of course, my sister, Sheridan Monteverde Tan and Goldwyn Monteverde, they have strongly decided to carry on, of course, not only in words, but really in action, the legacy of Mother Lily. We cannot just see it go away. Seeds have been planted since she entered as a housewife in the entertainment industry more than 60 years. As a movie fan and distributor of foreign movies and finally her greatest achievement as a movie producer, she took care of not only Regal but actually the whole entertainment industry. She fought for the industry many times. Lagi niyang sinasabi, hindi dapat pabayaan ang pelikulang Pilipino, ang industry ang Pilipino. She nurtured this with dedication, love, compassion, until her achievements become deeply rooted in a lot of people's lives. As a daughter, I'm very lucky to have been mentored for over 30 years. But I'm facing a big challenge. How to make sure we live not only through her memories and her achievements, but moving forward and fortify this in the next decades and generations. My siblings and the key people in Regal together are here to serve this industry and the Filipino audience worldwide. We will uphold to this day, moving forward, our commitment as great as what was planted to continue the legacy of Mother Mary. Today, there is reason why we are here, here together the bigger reason. We are here because we love what we do. We are here because we want to grow and live in this industry, which is our life, like mothers. Through all of us here, I was always told, ito ang pamilya. Ang tinaguyog talaga ni mother, itong pamilya niya sa movie industry. Hindi lang para, hindi lang regal ang tinaguyog niya. Tinaguyog niya ang Pilipino ang pelikulang Pilipino. Kaya, nagpapasalamat ako siyempre sa aking mga magulang, Leonardo and Lily Monteverde. Kasi lagi niya sinasabi, kayo ang kanyang pamilya. We will continuously support each other and make not only legal, but the whole entertainment industry live on forever. This is the great Mother Lily legacy, and this is now our regal legacy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Ms. Rosal. And of course, to continue honoring her, we all, I would like to actually invite Ms. Rosal Monteverde and Sir Keith and also Sir Don Don to join me on stage as we continue to honor Mother Lily and also acknowledge Coach Gold Monteverde because we actually are going to be donating to Mother Lily's passion project, which is the Mobile Fund. Mobile Fund contributed to producing quality films and educating filmmakers on constant development of Philippine cinema. Sir Don Don, Sir Keith, and Mr. Sel, let's have a quick photo op with the certificate on the Mobile Fund. Yes. I'm so happy to see familiar faces right now here at this party. I think I'm underdressed today because Keith told me I can wear anything I want. Is this is me. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so this certificate of crime. So on behalf of uh, Legal Entertainment Inc., we hereby pledge the amount of 1 million pesos in memory of our founder and our mother, the late mother Lily Y. Montenegro, who dedicated her whole life to the Philippine film industry. We hope this amount will be a big help to the Mobile Fund Fund Institute in funding its projects, and in this way, the legacy of Mother Lily will stand. Given this 21st of September 2024, in 38 Valencia City, Kansas City. Hi, 
Yeah, good afternoon. I'm Joey Roa. I am the welfare director of Mobile Fund. Um, this is not the first time that Mother Lily has uh, uh, donated to Mobile Fund. Uh, I, she has been a perennial uh, donor to Mobile Fund. And um, on behalf of the board of the trustees, uh, my mother, Chairman uh, Boots Anson Roa Rodrigo, um, I have here with me uh, board and our vice president, Julius Topasio. Um, Mr. Res Cortez, who is the president. We have Ms. Gina Alahar, we have um, Ding Dong Dantes and Adam Richards, and Mr. Jim Baltasar of CMD Films. We would like to, we are grateful for this donation, and this will certainly go way, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot it will go a lot for the, wel for the welfare of the movie workers. Thank you so much, Legal Films. Thank you, Mother Bird of Family. And let's give them more fun. Don and Sir Keith and Mr. Sell. So to join me up on stage, I'd like to call on, of course, our Executive Vice President to unveil our three films and the titles of our films, Sir Keith Monteverde. Yeah, uh, first of all, thank you everybody for making the trip here today. It's very meaningful for us, so thank you. I guess I should... Uh, start just by saying that I love movies. Um, but more than that, I love watching Filipino movies in theater. Actually, dito sa likod, before, meron kami malit na theater. And in that theater was the first time I saw Shake, Rattle, and Roll 2 with my Lola. So, you know, at the time, it wasn't just a movie, it was a big moment for me in my life because my lot introduced me for my love for horror films. So obviously growing up in the Philippines as a child of the 80s and 90s, I got a chance here in the Philippines to watch many of our iconic movies, both produced by Regal, but also by other companies. It was a really special time to be a movie fan. And actually I should mention that a lot of those iconic movies you'll be able to watch in theater again starting next week thanks to the MMFF and MMMDA as part of Cine Sigla Cinquenta. So I hope many people, especially the young people, make the trip out there and watch many of those iconic movies. But in, in addition to that, I should uh, mention and also acknowledge that times have changed. It's not as, movies not as easy as it, as it used to be. But what hasn't changed and we firmly believe this at Regal, is that Filipino films can be, should be, and deserve to be shown on the biggest screens in cinema. Um, and so, Regal, as my mom has mentioned, and with the backing of our family, we will continue to fight for our place in the theaters, along with our many friends and partners that are here today. Together, I think we can continue to push the industry forward. Uh, at the same time, I have to also acknowledge that we are taking part in a little bit of history as well today. Um, as hard as it is to, to swallow, these movies I'm about to present are the last three movies that my grandmother greenlit. Um, and I just want to say I'm incredibly, incredibly proud of these three movies. And I just want to thank everyone that put their hearts into making these films possible, and many of them are, are here today. So, thank you. So, to... Yeah, so to kick things off, um, we have our first, first movie, and I'm really looking forward to, to this one as a lawyer, <laughs> uh, even though my legal life it wasn't nearly as raunchy. <laughs> but uh, with pleasure, I'd like to introduce Guilty, guilty Pleasure. <laughs> Built a lot of love teams and romance, and honestly, I'm a sucker for stories about young love too. So this next movie is about young love. But I think it's more than that. It's also a family drama. And as the director would say, and a hint of magic. So with that said, I present to you 
my future you. Here we are uh, for our last, last movie. And uh, this last movie is special. As I mentioned, Regal loves a good horror movie. My grandmother loves horror. My mom loves horror. I love horror. It's like a, it's become like a family thing at this point. <laughs> um, but this movie isn't a shake. It isn't a Regal shocker. I think the team has done an amazing job creating a new world with its own set of rules and its own set of boundaries. So with that said, um, I don't want to spoil anything. Please enjoy Untold.